Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Amar Texter. So guys, in this video, we are going to focus on an, a troubleshooting ticket, a routing troubleshooting ticket. To be very specific, we are going to focus on static routing troubleshooting ticket. Uh, guys who want to see actually how routing loops look like, uh, you can surely watch this video completely. We'll come to know how to troubleshoot static routing issues and how actually the routing loops look like. So uh, here I've taken a very simple topology. Uh, we have a branch office here, uh, two branch offices, uh, one is at Chennai and the other one is at Jaipur. And this branch office are getting connected to the headquarters in Mumbai. So we have three routers here, Chennai, Mumbai and Jaipur routers. And the LAN, I've shown the LAN of the branch offices. Okay, so this is how the uh, topology is. It's a very simple topology I've taken. Uh, so here the problem statement is that uh, Ankush from Jaipur branch office. So this is Ankush. Okay, so Ankush from Jaipur branch office is able to access Chennai branch office server one. So he's able to access this server that is 10.1.1.100, but not able to access server two, which is 10.1.1.200. So a guy from Jaipur branch is able to access a server in Chennai branch office, but at the same time is not able to access another server in the same branch office that is in the Chennai branch office. So this is the problem statement. So what I've done is I have an access to Ankush uh, PC. So let me just show you that. So this is uh, Ankush PC. Okay, so let me show you the ping response to server one. We are able to ping it. That is 10.1.1.100. Uh, let me show you the ping response to 10.1.1.200. We'll see here that we are not getting the ping response here. Actually, TTL expire is coming, so we're not getting the ping or response. Uh, there are two major tools whenever you are troubleshooting any reachability issue from source to destination. So guys here the source is uh, this PC that is Ankush and the destination is server 1 and server 2. So uh, whenever you are troubleshooting there are two tools. One tool which I showed you that is ping and the other one is trace. So we will trace, we will also use trace. So from here the command is just trace. If you are uh, if you want to trace from routers, the command is trace route. And if you are using Windows PC, then it the command is uh, trace it. So I'll show you the trace route uh, for server one from Ankush PC. And here you can see. So this particularly uh, trace route basically shows you the routing path, the L3 path. Okay. So you can see it is reaching in four hops. Uh, the very first hop is 20.1.1.1. Uh, .1 that is this particular interface of Jaipur router, Ethernet 1 slash 0. And then it is reaching 13.1.1.1. .1 that is this particular interface of Mumbai router which is 13.1.1.1 and then from here it is reaching till 12.1.1.2 which is Chennai router and then it is reaching the destination. So how basically it is reaching it, I'll show you again. Uh, first it is reaching to 20.1.1.1 .1 which is this particular interface that is Ethernet 1 slash 0 of Jaipur router. So the packet is getting generated from Ankush PC. It is reaching till this interface. Okay. And from that it is going to 13.1.1.1 .1 which is this particular interface of Mumbai router. So it is traveling over here. Okay. Then it is going to 12.1.1.2 .1 which is this particular interface. So it is traveling from Mumbai to Chennai. And then from here Chennai it is going to the switch and is reaching the server. Uh, this is an L2 switch. So I just uh, I told you that this particular trace will show you the layer 3 or the routing path. It will not show you the switching path. So it will show you only the routing path. So that is why it is showing the IP addresses. So again IP addresses are layer 3 addresses. So you need to remember this.
now i'll just trace route the problem server for where for which we are troubleshooting uh, so here it is you can see here guys that a packet which is getting generated from ankush pc is reaching till 20.1.1.1 that is it is reaching till here then it is reaching till 13.1.1.1 that is still mumbai router and from 13.1.1.1 that packet is going to 13.1.1.2 which is this particular router that is jaipur router so it is coming back to jaipur router and from jaipur router again it is going to 13.1.1.1 that is mumbai router and again it is coming to 13.1.1.2 that is it is coming to jaipur router again from jaipur router it is going to mumbai router from mumbai to jaipur jaipur to mumbai mumbai to jaipur so this is happening here it is not reaching the destination correct destination which is chennai router so it is not reaching the chennai router so basically the path should it should take it till uh, reach till jaipur router then to mumbai router and then from mumbai router it is go it should go to chennai router but it is coming back from mumbai to jaipur and again it is getting looped over here so this is how the routing loops look like this is the routing loop see guys so this is the routing loop okay that is why it is not reaching the destination so we need to troubleshoot it so uh, we have identified where the problem is that the loop is happening between mumbai and jaipur so what i'll do is i'll log in into jaipur router and then i'll check the routing part okay so this is the jaipur router i can just show you the some commands over here okay show ip route 10.1.1.200 okay it is not in the routing table fine uh for the uh, server one also that is not in the routing table if the router is not having any specific route to reach a destination it will follow the default route so let's check what the default route is just give the command show ip route you will find the default route over here itself so this is the default route that is 13.1.1.1 that is this router so for jaipur router the default route is to our mumbai router so the packet are reaching mumbai but the problem is that the packet are reaching mumbai again from mumbai it is reaching to jaipur not going to chennai so let's go on mumbai router so we are here on mumbai router now here we will check show ip route so show ip route is the command to check the routing so the destination is 10.1.1.200 okay so you can see here the next route next hop uh, is 13.1.1.2 that is jaipur router so to reach particularly this route mumbai router have a route pointing towards jaipur which should be actually pointing towards chennai so we'll change it how to change it i'll show you it's very simple okay now for your reference you can just check uh, what is the route for the server one you can see here for server one the route is to our 12.1.1.2 okay 12.1.1.2 and 12.1.1.2 is this particular router that is the chennai router so let's change again the other thing the command you can use to view the routing static routing is show run pipe include ip route so you'll find out all these static routes which are uh, which are there in this router so it have only three static routes again if you want to see the routing table the command is show ip route okay so i'll just issue this command first of all so this route is wrong this particular route okay so i'll remove this route so not this this one so i'll remove this route from the routing table first of all Okay. and then i'll put the correct one okay so the command is show ip route 10.1.1.200 followed by the subnet marks which is slash 32 and then the next hop next hop should be chennai router 
which is 12 dot 1 dot 1 dot 2 press enter okay now just to verify the things let's verify show ip route 10 dot 1 dot 1 dot 200 dot 200 we can check here the routing is now correct that is toward, towards 12.1.1.2 now we'll quickly go over here on ankush pc and then we will check whether we have resolved the issue or not okay so this is ankush pc and now i'll trace it now you can see the traces getting completed now we'll ping it that is 10.1.1.200 okay so we are able to successfully able to it so uh, in this way uh, you can solve a static routing issue it is very simple static routing is very simple whenever you're having a small network you do deploy static routing you don't need any routing protocol to be used so uh, again I in this video I showed you how routing loops look like and how to troubleshoot it so uh, guys uh, in this video I have to show you only this much this is a very short video on static routing troubleshooting I'll come up with with more troubleshooting uh, videos uh, till then i'll end up this video here uh, thanks for watching amar tech stuff guys please do subscribe my channel like this video and do comment on the same thank you have a nice day